welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for the support. I am a mom of two who works full time and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos um, as on the side. In today's video, you're going to show me make my morning coffee. I ended up getting some new disposable cups and I ended up sorting out my laundry room. So I hope you guys enjoy. These cups could be purchased from Amazon. I decided to go ahead and purchase some that had a lid on it with a straw only because if I'm going into work, I don't drink all my coffee at once, especially when it's an iced coffee. And, a, and I'm trying to save money when not purchasing coffee outside of the house. And these became pretty convenient. Um, I typically go, my go-to is iced coffee. I have French vanilla or salted caramel um, syrups. So I'll choose one or the other and I'll just add my vanilla creamer or I'll have a salted caramel creamer and it's been working out very lovely because I don't feel the need to have to rush to drink my coffee now in the morning I could just tuck it on the go and I'll link those in the description box <music> So the time has finally come where I am now organizing my laundry room. I have been searching for weeks on how I wanted to go about this. The only thing that I had in my laundry room, I had a glass jar with a black top. So I knew going forward, anything that I got, again, I wanted to have like a black, black look. So that's why I decided to go with these three bottles. These were pretty cheap. Um, those are plastic. But I didn't know that the label was already going to be attached to the bottle. I thought that I would be able to adhere a new label. That was the reason why I purchased a new set of labels. And But it still worked out in the end as you continue to watch. So I got three 64-ounce bottles. Those each came with a pump. And the one thing I liked about them was the price. I think for the set of three, they were only 23 dollars and it came with a pump they came with a funnel and it came with um, the pouring cups so I thought the price was good and it came with a black label and the sheets that I just showed you I went with the black labels on this one because they had a variety of different um, categories the biggest thing I was trying to look for was white vinegar because I do use white vinegar when I wash my sheets and sometimes my towels and they just had a, a wide variety of categories so I went with that label that label set is sold separately and I will as always link everything in the description box <laughs> today I am trying the downy calm and lavender scent fabric softener this is our first time trying it and it actually smells very nice it's a very subtle smell when it says it's calm I feel like it lives up to its name my usual fabric softener is by downy but it's just your regular um, downy scent I forgot the scent of it it was the one that has the pink label but this one is definitely going to be more of a staple. I was looking for something that had more of a calmer, um, soft scent. Be 
And for any whites that I wash, I like I prefer to use the white vinegar. And unfortunately, with this bottle, the label, like I said previously, was adhered to the bottle. So I decided to put the white vinegar in the bleach bottle. But you'll see later in the video how I was able to cover it up. I want to have the heart of Jesus. Yeah. using a laundry detergent with this funnel it, t it ended up like taking a longer um, time to have the laundry detergent to flow through the funnel I think because it was just a thicker consistency so I decided to put the funnel aside and just pour the laundry detergent directly into the bottle which worked out much better and this is my favorite laundry detergent and technically with this laundry detergent I don't really have to add anything else and our cur our clothes can still come out smelling good clean and fluffy but I just choose to add the extra items I want to be a shining light live a life that shows through the darkness a fire burning in the night Be a hope for a world so broken Be a friend to the Lord Be the joy that He showed me Make the broken things new Yeah, the only hope for you and I I wanna have the heart of Jesus Yeah I wanna have the heart of Jesus I wanna have the heart of Jesus This is the black jar that I had previously. I purchased this glass jar from the $5 Target section, but it was a while ago. So going forward, I knew I wanted to keep it and any new laundry items I purchased, I wanted to keep with the black theme. And in this jar, I'm only adding OxyClean. I use OxyClean on my sheets and my um, like towels, rugs. I only use OxyClean on that. I don't add OxyClean to anything else. And later in a few minutes, you're going to see me add another OxyClean right here. This was something I think I purchased kind of by mistake. I can't remember. It's an OxyClean sanitizer. It's not really a laundry detergent, so I definitely won't be purchasing it again. And I'm just going to mix everything together. And I decided to keep the, the OxyClean scoop that came in that bottle with this jar. <laughs> trying new scent beads today and we decided to pick up the downy light lavender scent and that scent to me is a more toned down scent booster than the unstoppables so I think we're gonna stick with this one it smells lovely when we're washing our 
our clothes and I typically would use this in everything and I only had a little bit left of the unstoppables so if you're wanting to try scent boosters but you don't want too much of a strong smell definitely try out the downy light and I just prefer buying a lot of my laundry pr products from the local um what do you call it grocery stores only because or you know Walmart Target only because I don't have a large laundry room so I, can, I don't have area where I can house extra laundry products so that's why I just buy things when we need it and I also use baking soda I only use baking soda for my whites when I'm washing my whites but I need to purchase some more so I only dumped what I had left and then I got this cute little clear um, glass, well, it's a plastic container for our dryer sheets. And on the opposite end, it showed the embossing on it. So I put it, the label on the flat surface. And this is where I'm showing you guys where I just pretty much covered up that bleach sign. And I decided, oh, if I can cover up one bottle, I can go ahead and cover up the other bottles um, so everything can look all uniform I would say with when I covered up the laundry detergent it was it didn't cover up the whole wording but I was still okay with it area it's a very limited space um, I don't have any lighting in this laundry area the bin to the left that I'm getting ready to show you that has all our hand towels so I keep all our hand towels separate from our washcloths and our towels just so we're not getting mixed up on anything and the other two bins are just for storage anything that I just want to put in there I'm gonna go ahead and use some of it for just extra laundry things. I'm just trying to keep this area very simple. The lights that I have in here are from Amazon, I believe. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up everything before I go ahead and re um, organize my little area. In the end, I think everything turned out perfect. My daughters enjoy it. Um, so I'm looking forward to just keeping a nice little tidy area. <music> I 
I have walked through the darkest valley I was lost, couldn't find my way But then I heard him from within He who died for my sins He spoke my name, then I saw his face Yes, I've seen His eternal glory I felt His hand when I was astray I never knew until then Okay, everything is now in its place. Everything is functional. And we decided that when we use the cups for the laundry and the laundry detergent, excuse me, the laundry detergent and the fabric softener, We'll just dump the cups in with the wash. We'll just have to remember to take it out prior to putting it in the dryer. I saw someone else do that too. And I'm just wiping down the washer. This washer does have a self-clean cycle. And I didn't have like any of the special Affirm. It looks like what is listed to clean the washer. So I just added regular laundry detergent and did like a self-clean for the inside and went from there. Shepherd, he's the burning flame within my soul. The fire in my heart. He is my joy. He is my song. He is right when all is wrong. He's my savior. to clean the inside I ended up pouring some like fabric softener and white vinegar down there and I saw someone on social media of course use a water bottle to kind of squeeze and clean out the area if it helped I don't think so <laughs> but I may have to go back and look and see after the self-clean I forgot to check and see if it cleaned it so again I'm just doing the self-clean it was very hot water I just put laundry detergent in there and I think everything turned out well. Um, I was just looking for something functional. I thought about getting containers to put on top of the shelf, but one of my daughters is short, and I think it just would have been too much of an inconvenience for her to constantly get a stool or something to overextend herself to to pour. And this just kind of worked out better for us, and I'm just very happy with it. I hope you guys truly enjoyed the video, and I don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.